9000 series hydraulics. With the 9000 series air seeder, you'll notice you have five main hydraulic hoses either going to your drill or going to your tractor. You'll have two pressure lines, two return lines, and then also a case drain line. That case drain line is a direct line to both your fan motors and is used for a drip line or a lubrication line. And it is red heater hose, so it will burst before it builds enough pressure to hurt your fan motors. With your two pressure lines, you'll have one that's labeled P1 and then P2, which means fan one, fan two. Biggest thing to remember with your pressure lines is they never come together at any point in the hydraulic system. They work separately. But then you'll also have two return lines, T1 and T2, which is fan one return, fan two return. And in the schematic, you'll notice that these return lines do tie together in the main valve block just to lessen the amount of return oil back to the tractor. You will notice the four main hydraulic lines going to the valve block are one inch lines. And at the front of the cart, we have three quarter inch couplers. We highly recommend staying with three quarter inch all the way into your tractor. And the reason for this is the volume of oil that we need for our fans to operate at high speeds when customers are putting down high rates of product. Depending on what fan scenario you have on your machine will depict what you need for a requirement of your tractor. So if you have one high speed fan, we recommend 20 gallons a minute. A high cap fan, we recommend 26 gallons per minute. And then the high pressure fan, we recommend 30 gallons per minute. Also in that equation, you have to add the six gallons a minute for the metering circuit that gets taken from the fan one circuit through the priority valve automatically. We also recommend three quarter inch couplers because of the amount of working pressure that we need at our fan motors, which are a long ways from our tractor. Half inch couplers are just not rated for the amount of pressure or flow that we're required into our system. We also recommend upping your high pressure standby on your tractors to the 3100 to 3150 PSI so we can get that working pressure back to those fans. Reason we want it that high is because the amount of loss that we're going to have in our system to get the hydraulic pressure to those fan motors. So each coupler set that we go through we're going to have loss and then also we're going to have loss going through our main valve block and we are recommending to have in that 2400 PSI pressure going in at the fan motor. You'll also notice that our return pressure should never exceed 450 PSI when doing testing. Each of the two pressure lines coming into the main valve block have different functions within that main valve block. P1 coming into it will run your fan number one and from this table you can see the other functions that it has within that valve block. P2 pressure coming into the main valve block will be the main pressure for your fan 2 circuit. And from the chart, you can also see what fan 2 pressure will run within the system. All these features are run electric over hydraulic. We have a receiver tied up underneath the tank just behind the main valve block. And then each of the tanks will come with two CarTech remotes that can be activated to run each of the functions within that main valve block. Also with the main valve block, you'll notice that each solenoid has manual override to it. So it'll allow you to maneuver your conveyor around if for some reason you have an issue with power to the receiver or from the receiver to your main solenoid. As you're working through the other segments of the 9000 hydraulic class, on the schematics, you'll notice that all of our pressure lines are outlined in red, and then all the return lines are outlined in the blue.